Okay, so I just wanted to mention some more animation stuff that we didn't get to in class. So uh, just really quickly, I'm going to use a make a sketch that uses some of the things we haven't talked about. So I'll start out with um, the normal void setup and void draw. These are our two functions. Um, setup does everything within these curly braces when the, the sketch first starts. So I'll set up the canvas size. I'll set the background to black, and um, that stuff should look familiar. Then I'll make a rectangle just in the middle of the screen. So normally it needs what the um, x position, the y position, and then the width and height of the rectangle. So um, I'm just going to make it uh, centered horizontally and centered vertically, and I'll just make it 10 pixels by 10 pixels. And when I run it, there it is. You can see it's off. It's not in the center. So we learned that there's a function called rect mode, rect mode that um, will draw from the center instead of drawing from the upper left of the of the rectangle. That's why it looked off center. So um, the next thing I'm going to do is just uh, I'd like to make it just a an, an empty red rectangle. So no, not a white block, but an actual rectangle. So um, no fill is a function that uh, makes it so that it's just a... Uh, that didn't quite work. I think that's because the um, the outline color is black right now, so I can make it instead uh, red with no green, and no blue. So there we go. Stroke gave me the red uh, drawing color and no fill said don't, don't fill it in with red. Um, next thing I want to show you is that we can um, position it in a random spot on the screen. So something between 0 and uh, the width of the screen. That's what this random function does. It takes, it gives me back a number between 0 and whatever numbers in parentheses. So every time I run this, well, what's happening is it's drawing a random rectangle on the screen um, every time the draw loop runs, which unless I've said otherwise with frame rate, uh, I can say frame rate is 24. Normally I think it's 60, so we should see it start to go slower now. So it's a bit slower. So um, what I really wanted was just one to show up on the screen instead of redrawing it and redrawing it. So a way that I can do that is use this no loop function, which keeps the draw loop. It, it runs the draw loop once and then never again. So this should just make a random square somewhere on the screen, and that's the end. Um, so I'll comment that out, and uh, well, actually I'll leave it in there. So what I'd like to do is just make a. Um, I'm gonna comment it out. <laughs> One thing I'd like to do is just make random uh, squares appear all over the screen. Let's say I want 30 of them on the screen. So um, there's this thing that we haven't done yet, which is to create a loop, and um, I can say for. Basically, I want to say for 1 to 30 is kind of what I'm looking for. That's sort of half code, half English. Um, the way this code actually looks is it takes three parts that are separated with semicolons. The first one is where I set up a variable. I just set up an integer called i, set it to 0. So that, whatever is in the first section, happens right at the start of this loop. Um, the thing in the middle is a comparison, so basically I want to keep going until uh, as long as i is less than 30. And then the last thing is what I want to do at the end of every iteration of the loop, so I'm going to add 1 to i. Um, if I look at this, what it's doing is not exactly what I wanted. It draws 30 rectangles on the screen in random places, but it, um, it keeps doing it. So 30, 30 uh, rectangles are drawn, but 24 times a second. So you can see if I put the no loop back in, there's my 30 random squares. If I run it again, they're in 30 random other spots. Um, so I think that's all I can show you, and I'll, uh, I'll continue this in a second video.